Hey there, Bryce Coleman here, founder of, at least most recently, Wisdom Robot. Uh, I'd just like to say a few words about my coach, my mentor, and my very good friend, Eric Graham. Uh, I've been an entrepreneur my entire life. Started my first business when I was nine years old. Uh, yes, I was an entertainer, I was a magician, uh, but turned out to be a pretty good first business. It taught me um, how to work hard, how to focus, and more importantly, it taught me that you can live a life of abundance and enjoy it along the way. Um, but of course, that parlayed into other things, more serious businesses when I, once I got out of college. But the one thing I will say is that all of those businesses, while successful in their own right, they were businesses that were reliant upon me and my skills pretty much all alone. Now, for about 10 years or so, I was a high-paid consultant, contractor, sort of a gun for hire uh, in the tech world. And uh, so I was building all these systems for people and they were making lots of money. Now, I was getting paid, don't get me wrong, uh, but it was one job, one job after another after another. And I always had this dream, uh, especially after I, my short stint in, in uh, corporate America designing satellites for Motorola, I had this idea that I wanted to build an actual business, as in a business that ran itself, uh, and that you know if I wanted to go to the Bahamas for a few months, I could do that, and I would come back, and the business would hopefully be even stronger uh, than when I had left. But, well, as I'm sure you know, that's quite a challenge. And uh, there were a lot of skills required that I didn't have to build a business like that. I could have learned all those lessons on my own. Yes, I would have slogged through it. How long would it have taken? That's the part I don't know. I do know that I tried many times to do it uh, over the years. I would start it up and I would take some time away from my contracting work and I would launch this little thing and then I would run into lots of problems and things that like I didn't know and I couldn't learn quick enough, quite frankly. At one point I brought on a business partner thinking that, oh, he'll take care of all the things that I don't know how to do yet and he'll be a whiz. That, uh, while it ended amicably, didn't work out all that well either. So uh, when I met Eric for the first time, I was kind of in an impasse. I had gone back to doing the contracting work. Uh, again, that was working well. I knew that job very well, but I still had this dream of building an actual business. And as chance should happen, uh, I met Eric. And I remember the first night I met him, I asked him, well, what do you do? And he answered, I own 12 businesses. And, you know, for me, the most important word in that entire sentence was own. It wasn't 12, it wasn't businesses, it was the fact that he owned them, which implied, and of course it was true after talking to him, that uh, these were the kind of business that I wanted to build. It was a business that was automated, that was working through software systems as well as human systems, uh, and that I could take a break if I wanted to. Now, I've been an investor as well as an entrepreneur, and I know that part of any good business deal is due diligence. And let's be honest, in the coaching and consulting world, there are a lot of coaches out there who know how to coach, but that's all they know how to do. They haven't actually done what they're coaching about. And that makes me a little nuts. And I knew from my own experience that that's not what I wanted. I needed somebody who had run through the trenches and done the hard work and built and built and built and proven success over and over and over again so they knew the lessons from real experience, not because they read it in a book or they took a course or learned from some other quote-unquote expert. Uh, luckily, in my case, Eric was the guy. Now, I believe in investing time and energy in getting the right people on your team. But the question is, how do you know they're the right person before you get them on the team? Well, a lot of times you don't. I mean, you do your best to do background checks, you know, you check out websites, you get references, you do all that stuff, but you really don't know until you've actually worked with them. And you know what? Yeah, I was afraid, and, and I'll be frank, a, a, a lot of my friends, even to this day, a lot of my friends say, why do you work with other people? Why do you have Eric? And again, is it because I'm not smart enough to learn the lessons? No, I'll figure it out. I mean, I'll work. But how long is it gonna take me? And the reality is, and my wife will attest to this, the amount of time and energy and heartache and stress that Eric has saved me just over the short period of time we've been working together is worth more money than I could have ever paid him. He's learned the lessons for me. He's able to pass them on. He knows what's worked. He knows what's worked for him. He knows what the data is. One of the reasons I loved him, it's all about the numbers, folks. 
It's not about hand waving. It's not about what you think might want to happen. It's about what does actually work. So he has proven techniques and strategies. He says, hey, that's not working this way. Try this. You know what? That would have taken me six months to figure out. With Eric, it took me two minutes to sit there and shut up and listen to him and then go out and try it for a week and prove to myself, yes, it absolutely does work. My wife has watched this over and over and over again. She's more skeptical than I am, you know? She knows I'm the kind of guy that just raises my hand and says, yes, let's do it. And she's like, I, well, I don't know. This seems like a lot of money. And yeah, she's completely sold on him. And, and next to me and one of our other close friends, I think Eric's her third favorite guy uh, in the world. So working with Eric, for me at least, is a perfect combination because I'm a go-getter. I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna do the work, I'm gonna try things. And you know what? I don't always have the answer. So what happens? Well, I could slog through it, I could do another 100 phone calls, or I can spend five minutes talking to Eric, toss out my ideas, toss out what's working and what's not. He's pointing me in the right direction. I know where to go next and what we can do next to make it work better. So, you know, looking back at where we are today and we're just getting started and, and I gotta tell you, I, I won't toss out any numbers because they'll seem a little bit impossible and I'm not saying that uh, just as a, a marketing pitch, that's honestly the case. In fact, my wife and I look around and go, I doesn't seem possible, but it is. It is when you have the right help. It is when you have the right guidance. Um, you know, people ask me, why do you have a coach? I don't call Eric a coach. Uh, in our world, he's my gasoline. He is my rocket fuel. So it's like, we got a concept, we can take it, we got ideas, we're gonna run. And he just throws massive amounts of gasoline on it so that we get there faster. And uh, it, it, it's amazing. And just on a personal note, I, I just wanna say this, that I only work with people that I trust. I only work with people that bring value to the table, and I only work with people that I like as a human being, that I respect. I respect their value system. I respect the reasons they're doing their things. And that's Eric and Spades, and I think it's one of the reasons we get along so well. I don't know what else more I could say about him. It's my life has changed. I couldn't, looking back, I couldn't imagine getting here. I couldn't imagine getting here, quite frankly, to be where I am sitting here right now today recording this video. I sure as heck cannot imagine getting here in the short amount of time that we have. So Eric, thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I owe everything. Okay, maybe not everything, but I owe a lot to you. Uh, there's no way I could have done this without you. And uh, for anybody that's watching this, man, if you have a chance, jump on it.